The invention of elaborately constructed flying machines to travel through Earth's atmosphere ranks among mankind's greatest innovations. The field of aviation is defined by challenging the limits and coming up with bold new ideas. But these aircraft, they simply defy all concepts of normalcy. Number 10. The Convair V2 Sea Dart To supplement standard aircraft, a variety of interesting combination machines are available to pilot. However, a jet fighter designed to land right in the ocean adds an entirely new definition to the job description, turning pilots into jet ski operators. The Convair Sea Dart was an experimental American jet fighter built in 1951 as a prototype supersonic seaplane, complete with a waterproof hull and two hydrofoils. The Sea Dart concept was retired after a fatal crash, but not before it became the first, and so far only, seaplane to break the sound barrier, with ED Sam Shannon at the controls. Number 9. Goodyear Inflator Plane When a tire company attempts to enter the aircraft market, you can expect rather bizarre results. In 1959, Goodyear Tire responded to market demands for a convenient airplane in a spectacular manner. The open cockpit inflator plane was built entirely out of rubber except for the engine and control cables. The plane fit in a meter-long box and could be fully inflated with a bicycle pump in just 15 minutes. The machine was an aerodynamic success as it took to the skies with ease. However, Goodyear encountered some challenges in convincing the military to buy the aircraft when they pointed out that the plane could be downed with a single bullet or even a well-aimed slingshot. Number 8. NASA A-1 Pivot Wing NASA's AD-1 brought the standard for strange aircraft to an entirely new level. Designed in the early 1980s to test the concept of a pivoting wing, the jet's long, thin wing rotated on an angle up to a point where the right wing tip could be brought parallel with the cockpit. The idea behind this unorthodox and completely new arrangement was to offset airflow disturbance patterns and increase streamlining. The strange aircraft flew a number of missions and performed surprisingly well, but the results were not convincing enough to justify service production. However, modern drones based on this aircraft design, they're now under development. Number 7. Vought V-173 the Vought V-173 was developed in 1942 as a prototype vertical takeoff and landing aircraft capable of intercepting enemy fighters from an aircraft carrier. The bizarre design of the aircraft, nicknamed the Flying Pancake by its test pilots, consisted of an almost perfectly circular fuselage that also doubled as the machine's wing. The engine supported immense propellers, which could only clear the ground through the use of exaggerated landing gear struts, while the power system was located in the wingtips, unlike any other aircraft ever made. Limited demand and a crash helped seal the fate of this project, but it began the lineage that led up to the famous Harrier jump jet. Number 6. Bell P-39 Air Cobra Sometimes it's best for experts to stick to what they're good at. During the Second World War, Bell helicopters produced a powerful, highly maneuverable fighter craft with superior strike and air-to-air -air combat skills. Most airplanes have their engines at the front, but Bell, being a helicopter company, created an airframe with the engine centered behind the cockpit. A long shaft spun the propeller at the front, but while the design offered amazing power, building an airframe around a helicopter-style power source resulted in an unusual center of gravity. More enemy aircraft were shot down by this sky surface than any other US dogfighter design. However, some Air Cobras plummeted to their demise without so much as a single shot from the enemy. Number 5. SR-71 Blackbird before universal satellite technology, design specifications for a first-class spy plane with unprecedented speed, endurance, and the ability to reach the edge of space birthed the SR-71 Blackbird. A fearsome, almost alien ship, the SR-71 had devilish performance capabilities. But in a bizarre twist, the SR-71's special permeable tanks would leak explosive jet fuel until the 900 plus degree Fahrenheit frictional heat caused them to seal. As it soared to altitudes of over 6 miles, it exceeded speeds of 3,000 miles per hour, causing the surface of the aircraft to glow bright red. All of this must have been quite something for the pilot, who would have to wait for up to half an hour upon landing in order to exit the aircraft so their feet wouldn't melt. Even the canopy of this airplane would reach 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 4. Convair Pogo the Grumman X-23, or Pogo, represents a radical departure from the norm of aviation design, taking it past eccentricity and into full-blown absurdity. The body of the Pogo was shaped somewhat like a regular airplane, except for the rotor attached to the nose cone that lifted it vertically into the air. Unlike most VTOL aircraft, the Pogo took off nose first, like a rocket, with the wheels attached to its tail fins. The canopy pointed 90 degrees outward, causing the pilot to lie at right angles with the ground as the machine rose. The Pogo was supposed to then fly 
fly forward through the air once it had stabilized. Several successful test flights were made, but like many aerial misfits, the project never got far off the ground. Number 3. McDonnell Douglas X-15 The X-15 is an older design, but it was such a significant leap forward that it remains unsurpassed in the area of aircraft performance. First tested in 1959, the X-15 rocket plane measured 51 feet in length, with two tiny 9-foot-wide wing stubs on each side. A series of tests saw the plane reach altitudes of 100,000 feet, with two missions qualifying as space flights. During the aircraft's passage through the atmosphere, the small rocket-like jet reached speeds of over six times the speed of sound. The X-15 was coated with a special nickel alloy, similar to that found in natural meteorites, which prevented planet Earth's fastest ever machine from burning up in the atmosphere. The X-15 defined the niche of extreme specifications with its high weight, high power, and low lift. Number 2. Blom und Voss BV-141 in the natural world, symmetry is the rule in everything from eyes to wings. This rule of nature is often reflected in the rules of engineering. But during World War II, in a marked departure from the norm, German aircraft engineers at Dornier conceived a reconnaissance plane and light bomber with a single wing, a tail boom with an engine on one side, and right beside it a pod to carry the pilot. Although such an arrangement would appear unbalanced, placing the pod on the right-hand side of the propeller boom counteracts the torque and helps the aircraft fly straight. Thus, the freakish flying machine not only made it off the ground, but inspired a modern sport aircraft with a similar design. Number 1. Caproni CA-60 Consider a houseboat crossed with an airplane. That was the idea behind Count Caproni's CA-60. This 1920 machine set the standard for bizarre multi-wing aircraft so high that even Richthofen's Red Fokker would look definitively mundane in comparison. Measuring 70 feet in length and weighing a whopping 55 tons, Caproni's enormous flying machine was built to be the first transatlantic airliner in aviation history. Borrowing from the theory that enough wings will make anything fly, the ship-like fuselage bore a stack of three wings at the front, three in the middle, and instead of a tail, a third set of three wings at the back. This unearthly machine could only be described as a triple triplane, and nothing similar to it was ever built. Lifting off was not a problem, but the plane crash landed on its first flight after reaching a height of about 60 feet. Caproni announced that he would repair it, but the wreckage was later burned overnight. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. For more from me, why not check out my other channel called Today I Found Out that is linked to below. And as always, thank you for watching.